came up with the idea for Sparrow Lab starting out of an extracurricular group at Wash U. Abby and I were both students at Wash U our junior year, and we were part of this group called Engineers Without Borders. It gives you the opportunity to work on real-world problems and try to really use your engineering skills to solve them. There's about 30 million people in the United States with asthma and 300 million people worldwide. How can we empower these people to better manage their condition on a daily basis rather than looking at it from more of a top-down? So we saw that the technologies that people had to use just really hadn't changed in the last 30, 40, 50 years. And Wing is essentially a pocket-sized device that goes with a companion app, and it plugs in through the headphone jack of a smartphone to empower patients with a tool that enables them to measure how their lungs are doing, how their lungs are functioning, um, and also track and understand the things that affect their lungs. You could see you know, early warning signs for an asthma attack that might be coming hours, even days, before you start to feel any symptoms. So ultimately, they can work with their doctor to find the best treatment plan to keep them breathing as well as possible, and then also more proactively manage their condition on a day-to-day -day basis. There's so many things that go into developing a company and developing a product that go way beyond just the initial problem identification and the technology. So we had a, a really great experience at Wash U. We both took the uh, hatchery course with Cliff Holcamp, um, which was a really great primer as to kind of what are the different things that you need to think about um, to take an idea or a technology and really to build a company around it. I think for me, being a St. Louis native, it's, it's been especially interesting to see how important WashU is to the larger St. Louis community, both from an entrepreneurial standpoint in terms of you know, churning out amazingly talented students, but also from a community level, driving support into other organizations. WashU has connections all over the country, all over the world, and that's what you need to really have a thriving ecosystem. Uh, that's building. And I think that that puts WashU in a very um, exciting position to really lead some of that in St. Louis.